Hello folks, for the final time of saying hello, today's walk will take us alongside of the river for 95% of the way. Although I'm standing at the end of this trek, we are in fact starting at Bridgewater. If the tide is out, we will see what I call fantastic mud sculptures created by the movement of the River Parrot. The sludge that's left was an important and at no cost ingredient for the brick and tile industry who created their famous bath brick. Across the river, you'll soon see Dunbar Wharf, where ships would come in from the sea to offload goods and reload, most probably with bricks and tiles, and then off to distant destinations with their cargo. Today, the historic Balmoral passenger ship docks here and will take tourists such as ourselves around the coast or to Lundy Isle. That's a wonderful trip. I've done it and really enjoyed it. Again across the river is Paulet Village and nearby Paulet Hams, a site of special scientific interest due to its importance during the Second World War. You'll see a rusty old barn, but it ain't what it seems. It was in fact a barrage balloon hanger. And now a look to the left across the river. We will see Cannington Church Tower with nearby the friendly spirit pub said to be haunted by a naughty nun from the Priory. Above the town is an Iron Age fort occupied by both Romans and Saxons. But let's come back to Cummich. Again this was an important port as was Bridgewater. Today the nuclear age has made its mark. It created a jetty here for the first Hinkley Point reactor and today that's being refurbished for the second reactor. The Anchor Pub nearby is a good place to have a drink but it's also a very good place to see the complete fives wall there constructed of red brick. And for those of you with a love of unusual plants, search around on the common there. Ahead though, you'll meet Stuart Marshes, created as a defense for the newly built flood banks. It's a nature reserve where you'll most probably see avocets, ringed plovers, oyster catchers, shell ducks, and so many more, probably white egrets too. The flowers here amongst them would be purple loosestrife and flowering rushes, with short lamb and beef being reared here too. And now we're going to approach the very end, the bird hide at Sturt Point. This must be climbed for views to Wales, to Burnham-on-Sea and if we turn around and face to the south in the far distance would be the Dorset Hills. Remember you started at its source 50 miles away and here you are at its end as it reaches the sea. What an achievement for you all. What an achievement. What an honour for me to be able to take you 
on this lovely walk. Thank you for joining me. Just a little more information. Over the winter months, I've had the joy of writing my little book, Somerset 50 Mile Parrot Trail by Dot Walford. No doubt can be found online. It's been a joy guiding, it's been a joy doing my talks and finally writing my little book. And now it's goodbye. Bye.